It's one of the region's best-loved institutions. But last week, Newcastle's Tyneside Cinema was rocked by claims of racial and sexual abuse and harassment. The cinema has launched an investigation which, according to the British Film Institute, needs to be fully transparent and robust. Well, tonight, in a special report, Chris Jackson reveals further allegations of abuse and mismanagement. He lunged across the table and tried to kiss me. I had to take a manager aside and say, stop slapping me on the arse. He was shocked. He didn't think it was inappropriate. Allegations of sexual harassment committed by senior staff at the Tyneside Cinema. Last week, claims of serious sexual assault at the cinema emerged on social media. The cinema launched an independent investigation. It said it cared about its people. Their views would help change the future. But we've uncovered a murky past. Staff have told us the abuse often happened at social events. It involved older senior men, junior female staff, and drink. And it goes back years. On two nights out, he got me alone and tried to kiss me. I told him to stop. At a one-to-one -one meeting, he tried to put his hand in my lap. This incident allegedly happened a few years later and involved a different man. He was behaving inappropriately with a colleague using sexual innuendo and belittling. In this case, it was reported to a senior employee, but nothing happened. He said, I can't do anything. The victim has to come forward. We wanted it stopped, and it wasn't. I feel sick about that. A chance to nip a pattern of abuse in the bud was missed. We've been told he was one of a number of men who sexually harassed staff. In this case, it went on for years before the cinema finally got rid of him. And it seems they didn't come clean in public. An all-staff email said he had left to pursue other interests. They wished him well for the future. But within the hour, another email marked confidential was sent to selected managers. It said he was banned from all areas, which we're told usually happened after sackings. If he turned up and there was resistance, call the police. The reason for secrecy? Avoiding gossip. Staff tell us a failure of senior management going back years led to a situation where abuse and bullying by a number of individuals could take hold. We know of one recent police investigation into other serious sexual allegations, which was closed due to a lack of evidence. The new allegations we're presenting here were not made recklessly. The staff we've spoken to say they care deeply about the Tyneside Cinema and they've come forward reluctantly. They fear this scandal could mean the end of the cinema. Hi, do you want to... Uh... We put the allegations to the cinema management. We're deeply saddened at the Tyneside to hear that staff have got concerns and are clearly hurting as a result of what they feel is bullying and sexual harassment. Um, it's not acceptable. Uh, we've commissioned an independent report and we've set a, a target of being able to share the outcomes and start action within six to eight weeks. But how could this go on for so long? Why weren't the alarm bells raised? There's been a sense of frustration or a lack of confidence in the staff to raise issues either with senior management or the trustees. And that saddens me and that's why we're having an independent review. But do you accept that's what happened and when it was raised and action was taken, it was hushed up? That is not a pattern I recognise, and I, as I say, what we're doing with this review is finding out what went on and see, making the, the sure... The staff will expect you to know, and that's what's so, so worrying for them, that I, you should know. I agree that this is a very difficult situation, and it is deeply concerning and saddening to me that people have raised it and have not felt able to. Chris Jackson, BBC Look North, Newcastle.